Hello, good evening everybody. Welcome. It's Ruth here at artfulstampin.co.uk. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> I'm going to say quick hi to every quick hi to everybody. Hi Elaine, Shaz, Barb, Judy, Cindy, Glenna, Serene, Shaz, Esther, Vicky, Elizabeth, Bonnie, Bling bling crafter. Is that you, Pat? Hi, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. So, yes, um, I was away all last week and I've been out today as well. Went to the beach. Very nice. Blue skies, blue sea. And my God, it might have just caught a little bit of the sun on me. I only just noticed that I'm a little bit red so uh, I got the old spray out and then I went downstairs and started spraying all the kids as well because I realized that they caught the sun as well so they were like mom don't spray us anyway um yes I, I'm afraid it's not going to be really a masculine Monday today I've I haven't really unpacked properly to be honest and I have a, a class tomorrow and a lot of the things that I'm going to that I took away last week with me on holiday I will be using for my class so rather than getting lots of stuff out I did notice on my desk because I unpacked a parcel that arrived over the weekend um, I do have some new stamping blends which I thought I might use to do some colouring in and also the new snowball puff accents paint so thought that would be quite fun to use. So it's going to be a bit of a technique day today. I probably can't stay too long. It's me, it's me here in the room shining with bling. Oh, Pat, lovely to see you. Hi, Sally Jo. Hi, Paula. Hi, Shirley. Great to see you. Right, um, I've just got to grab a block, though, and an ink pad. and i'm just going to stamp i'm going to stamp these hippos and i also need to do some masking so i've got a little bit of an idea just a little kernel of an idea so i'm going to have i used these yes i have used these before maybe this one first thought it would be helpful if I masked off the image so this is oh sorry I should show you that shouldn't I really these are the masking paper sheets that you can get you get 12 in a pack I think they're about five or six pounds they're not terribly expensive hi Jodie I did have fun yes it's always a busy week when we go on our camp but always such a blessing so can't complain there we had great weather so we arrived on the Saturday and we managed to get the tent up so for those of you who don't know so I should explain where I was last week because I forget not all of you have been following me for years and years some of you are quite new to my channel um I don't even know why I did that because you know what I should do let's do this so I've just realized do this, you see. layer them on top of each other Get myself a peg peg them together there we go right so I'm going to talk and cut at the same time um, yes yeah, so where I was last week was a family it's a family Christian conference that I go on with my my husband and my children and I've been going since I was quite young. We were trying to calculate how old I was. My sister thinks I was about 10. I think I was probably about 11 or so when I first started going. And fortunately, 
the location of it is not too far from our house it's only about an hour away and because we end up having to do a lot of kind of camp setup well I say a lot we have to put up our tent which is quite a big tent so Tom Tom and I share a tent with our daughter and the boys have their own now we also put up a, a big what's called an event shelter so we kind of make the event shelter our kitchen and socializing area because it's just nice and it means you can share it with somebody else so we went with a couple from our church and we we we, we got the food hold the, the whole food thing you know cooking we got it pretty what's the word going like clockwork this year so my friend she prepared the bolognese for when we arrived on the saturday and we tend to always have bolognese on the saturday because after you spent three hours putting tents up you want to be able to cook a pretty quick meal and bolognese is one of those things that you can make and freeze ahead of time and take so that was pretty cool all we've got to do is cook the pasta so that was sorted so sunday we tend to eat out down to a tea that's it thanks esther down to a tea that's the word i wanted so sunday we tend to eat out but this year we were going to eat out but there are folks who you know are posh enough to stay in the house like my sister esther she stays in the house she doesn't camp so she's ch chatting away on my live now stamping style with creations with esther that's my sister anyway she stays in the house and a few other people stay in the house but some folks decided they were going to go out for lunch instead of eating in the house so there were a few meals spare so rather than let the food go to waste you know we don't like waste um, we were very kindly offered to have a nice turkey dinner so we had turkey um, mashed veg potatoes gravy beans it was good you know and everything tastes better when you don't have to cook it so it was lovely so yeah we got spoilt really on the sunday then on the monday i cooked a beef stew that went down quite well everyone seemed to enjoy it yet it and enjoyed it so there we go there's my masks all cut out there we go yes mate yes esther, esther lives a high life uh, sorry bear with i've just got to find my trimmer I haven't even unpacked that it's still in the bag <laughs> okay so I'm just going to cut myself a m layer that I would then stick onto a card base so I'm just going to cut that ready so basically it's quarter of a standard piece of cardstock minus a little bit yeah so Monday I cook beef stew and Monday is quite a relaxing day at the camp because our conference doesn't, in terms of its program, it doesn't actually start till the Monday night. So we get to chill out a little bit, but also I got to set up the tots room where I was looking after some of the little ones. And then what did we do tuesday oh tuesday my friend she cooked pulled pork which was very nice had those in baps and then wednesday i cooked a curry thursday we ordered from a local like fish and chip shop we just ordered food in because thursday evening is usually very busy for a lot of people because we have the concerts on the Thursday and there are folks running around trying to sort out what they're doing so Thursday we decide you know we're not going to cook we will order in and then um, 
Friday night we have a barbecue that the house cooks and everybody gets to eat that. So we don't have to cook Friday. Yeah, so that was good. Then what else was I going to tell you? Oh, on Friday night traditionally. So look, can you see the henna? Can you see this? I've got henna on my arm. So Friday night we get the henna out. Although to be fair, <laughs> my sister did this one for me yesterday. And I did this one yesterday too. But anyway, I was just going to show you the henna. Right, so I've just stamped my images in black Memento. So this is the Tuxedo Black from the company Memento, but we sell it. So Stampin' Up sell this ink pad. And this is the recommended ink pad to use with the Stampin' Blends because they are alcohol-based. So when you're using alcohol-based products, it's ideal to then stamp your images in water-based so that they don't react. So does everyone in the camp eat together? Oh, right. OK, so I need to explain. So we have the campsite where people who camp camp and it's up to them if they want to cook and eat together because our friends were. Uh, we, we camped with them last year, we kind of like we we shared the responsibilities, but those people who are staying in the house, so there was over like 100 people who were staying in the house, they all get to eat there and there's a chef and kitchen staff and cleaning staff and, and so on. So they pay more to stay in the house. Excuse me, just got to do this. Just want to, I just want to heat set, heat set it. Oh, so I can see Esther's answering questions as well. Yeah, campers cook for themselves, but there is electric hookup. I would not be able to survive if we did not have electric hookup. Well, I probably would, but life is much easier with electric. <laughs> Okay, so I need to just get the um, the mask. Oh, actually, no, I want to colour these in. Right, I'm going to remove myself now from here. Because I don't think you need to see me. Um, I'm going to colour these in. Oh, Jackie, I think I know someone who went on that. I, th I think I do. Anyway, I will private message you because I think there's a girl that I know whose dad and siblings came to our camp this year, but I think she went to that camp. Okay, so I was going to attempt to do what I would call cheat alcohol colouring in, all right? So bear with, it's an idea I've got in my head that I've not tried out, but I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to try it and see what happens. Are you ready? So this is for people who are line challenged. So I'm using light smoky slate and I'm colouring across the whole of the image there. And then I need to find dark smoky slate here it is and then i'm going to go kind of around my image apart from the nails there we go let me go under there no, maybe a little bit more there. Maybe around there in the key areas. Maybe ears. There we go. And then come back with the light smoky slate, but I'm going to use the the chisel end, no, what's it called? Yeah, the chisel end, or bullet end. And I'm just going to blend 
the dark into the light a little bit. You see, I'm just blending that in. Have I got this right? Yes, I have. I'm just checking then. I think this is running out slightly, that's why I'm being a bit cautious. So blend, 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 in you go, in you go. So you see that the lines are now disappearing. You had very harsh lines a second ago, but they've now disappeared. Got a little bit of a line but might be able to still get rid of that a bit more by going in like that Just build that colour up a little bit although i'm wondering whether to give this little hippo a little bit of a slightly pink cheek just a little what's this light flirty flamingo a little, a little bit of a blush there, and yeah, there we go. Now, so then I wanted to kind of carry on colouring in the whole kind of around and about, really. I don't even know why I did that um, masking. Well, maybe I could do stamping. Yeah, anyway, as I said, I'm kind of making this up as I go along. So this is Tahitian Tide Stampin' Blends. I've not used these before. But I did wonder whether just to do some fun patterns in the background, really. Oh, maybe I should mask it off. Okay, I'm going to try masking it off. Because if I decide to just go over the top, it might be handy. See, I don't, I've not tried this before, so I don't know if the alcohol go, will seep through. Okay, let's try it out. Let's try and do a stripe. Okay. Let's do that with the dark as well. See what happens. We had fun gliding, fl flying remote controlled airplanes, archery, axe throwing, ca caving yoga and not forgetting a few crafts. What fun! Without giving away the actual location, can you just sort of say roughly what part of the world that was in, Jackie? Just sort of the county. Cheryl. See, I've got a feeling this yellow's running out, but anyway. Just put some yellow stripes across there. whether to do some thin stripes downwards Sort of like a plaid effect. Bedfordshire. Mm. 
See, I don't mind greatly having that little pale grey bit at the back. Um, maybe next time I won't go like so over the lines, but I don't mind it too much. But I do feel like it's floating, this little hippo. So I'm just going to super put that down. Maybe a bit more of a shadow or some sort of shadow. Anyway, I'm just experimenting. This is a bit of a big experiment, guys. See, I'm wondering whether to just to cut that now and just cut that round rather than worrying about the whole whole piece so much. Maybe just fit another one. I could fit another one in. Anyway, I think I'll just swap over to this one now. Okay, so uh, what I was trying to attempt was some sort of easy way of colouring it in because I think sometimes it can seem a bit scary when you're approaching colouring in something but by just kind of going and having a go it meant that kind of you took the fear factor out of it so that's what I was trying to aim for guys so anyway let's see um, what a blue hippo could look like I'm just going to start off with that as a base so light blue so this is the Tahitian Tide light and I'm just colouring everything in with the kind of brush end now it doesn't mean this is going to stay this colour I'm just going to see what happens okay um, put a bit dark Blue there, dark, 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 like that, around like that, around the mouth, and the, and then just through there. Then get the light version, blend some of this in a bit better. Blend that all out leaving the eyes so they're a little bit lighter blend that in oh I've got its tail last time right I think we could go for a, a bit more of an interesting colour through the body there because this is a made up hippo colour this is not really what I've got here is this orchid Oh, starry sky. Oh no, I've got orchid races here. Okay. Okay, let's see what that looks like. So this is light orchid oasis. I'm wondering whether to do little orchid oasis nails. Just the tiniest little dab. Because these pens are really quite juicy at the moment, so you don't need to do a lot. Um, maybe a little bit there. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh no, wrong one. Oof. That was close. Oh, actually, no, that would be okay, I think. Just to come up through there. A little bit darker. Maybe a little bit darker on this side as well. If we have the light source coming down from there. Have it a bit darker on this side of the body. So, if the light source is coming through there wonder what would happen if I put a little bit of light smoky slate just through there. Oh, that's a bit too dark, actually. Mm. Nope, that doesn't work. Okay, what about a bit of light deal? I know this, this could possibly turn it quite green. 
But anyway, this could be a bit of a psychedelic, psychedelic hippo. Can you see what's sort of happening? Because yellow is so much lighter, it pushes that blue through the paper. So if you see the back, you can see where the yellow is pushing the ink through. All right, so this is exactly why I call the white ink that we do. It's not actually white. The white topped colour lifter. This is why I describe the colour lifter as a colour pusher rather than a colour lifter, because that's what I believe is actually happening in terms of the science of what's happening. It's pushing the lighter alcohol pens have got I guess more alcohol than pigment and all they're doing is pushing through as well as leaving a bit of the yellow so there we go so I've highlighted this little hippo that's what's that's what's happening so there we go right um Janice says Oh, did you try, Heidi Selinsky, were you trying to watch it immediately after Janice did it? Because sometimes um, it just takes a bit of time for YouTube to process a video as soon as it's gone live. But it should, it should be up there now. Janice will be able to tell you. So... I missed when you put the mask on, was gasping that you put the stripe on top. <laughs> oh, have fun, Vicky. Hi, Candy. Lovely to see you. Hi, Heidi Selinsky. Who else is on here? Algae on the hippo, says Bob. <laughs> yes. Nice to see you, Janice. Two weeks to go. Oh. <gasps> Goodness, in two weeks' time, we'll be in the air, God willing. Right, I think this psychedelic hippo needs some melon mambo. These are all the cut. these are, not all, but some of the colours I've never had a Stampin' Blends. So they're all coming out now tonight, because they're new, new to me. I think we need to have pink polka dots. Let's do pink polka dots on this hippo. Why not, hey? Seems to be going all psychedelic y. There we go. And you see, you push it through, you see what's happening. Hee <laughs> hee! Look at that! Look, see the other side. That is fun. That is super fun. Okay, let's mask this one off then. Let's do crazy background. I didn't get that quite on properly, so let's redo that. Oh, let's start at the top. Let's start with the ears, that's a bit easier. There we go. The hippo has chicken pox and jaunt. <laughs> Could be. Could be. Right. So what if we go for a bit of a patchwork effect? Patchwork effect pattern. So I'm going to go for a bit of yellow. Like that. And maybe a bit of yellow there as well. Yes, yes, yes. And maybe, oh, I'll go for a bit of pink background. A little section of pink there. Maybe a little section of pink there. And a bit of pink there. Maybe a bit of pink. There. A little bit of pink there. So this is more about just having fun with the 
stamping blends as well as actually colouring in, just using them to create backgrounds and patterns. So we'll do a bit of the Tahitian there, a bit on there. Although I'm just aware I have done the hippo in Tahitian, so I'm not sure that is a good idea, but anyway, we'll work it out as we go along. And then a little block there. Hmm. Right, and now the fun bit. Let's do some funkying. So what's this? Light Orchid Oasis. So I think we can do some polka dots. Oops. The ear bit was wanting to come off. Mm, there. Then some polka dots down here. So we're kind of creating our own patterned background using the stamping blends. So who's done like doodling like this before? Where they just colour in some sections and then doodly do. Well, if you haven't done it before, I suggest you get your pens out and have a bit of fun. Right, so that was Light Orchid Oasis. So I'm now going to get the dark one. Hi Diane, hi Ivy. You could use watercolour stamps. What to stamp the background? And I'm just going to put a little bit of dark in the centre of my wee little patterns just to make them look a little bit more 3D, I guess. Although because I've only just coloured those in, the colour is sort of spreading quite a lot. So, I guess if you don't want as much spread, it's you need to move on to something else and then come back to it. Okay, Dark Melon Mambo. Let's do a bit of a stripe with this. So we're doing kind of tone on tone. We're doing the pink on the pink. So I did the background in the light melon mambo and I'm now doing a stripe in dark Ooh, it's a bit trickier now Ooh, oh, 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 oh. just turn it a little bit make my life So I hope you guys enjoyed the little videos I left for you last week. I have to say I particularly enjoyed making the Friday nights one with the striped ribbon and the flowers. Oh my goodness. Love, 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 love those cards. So enjoyed making those. There we go. That's quite fun. Looks my, like no, my notepad went in team meetings at work. <gasps> Right, I'm just going to have a look at what's going on to see what I need to do. Hmm. I think it stands out enough. I know I've gone sort of, I've got that blue repeated, but um, it's not note much I can do about that. Um. Just do a yellow, just do a sort of a checker effect. Just very subtle, this one. It's almost tone on tone, actually, because I think I use dark daffodil delight to actually do the blocks. So it's, I'm just using the same colour.
Mm, it's very subtle. Can you see? They're very, very subtle. But nice. Again, I think I would cut that down. Just use that for a bit of fun. White gel pen around the hippo or dark grey. What a great idea, Serene. I think I'll actually use the light grey. I'll go around the hippo just to make it look, to make it stand out a little bit. I don't have white gel pen. I don't think I have one at works to hand. I'll check. But we don't really, we, Stampin' Up! don't sell one. So I don't want to start introducing anything that you guys can't purchase. But yeah, if you do have one, that would be a good idea. So I'm just putting a little bit of light grey around. Now this is a trick that I do quite often that I go around a coloured image with a little bit of light grey but I've never done it on you know where I've had a background but yeah you can see that it's given it a little bit more definition there. So let's just bring back the first one just see oh yeah because I did the little bit of scribble there didn't I so yeah okay I'm going to stop there and um cut these out and maybe mount them ready to make a card so I want to keep as much of my design as possible so let's just cut that there and Cute. Okay, let me just measure that so I know. I'll measure that. I'll take that down to six instead. Let me just double check what that measures. Oh, just under seven. Okay, I'll take that down to seven. Okay. I've got some little scraps of thin colour card here. So I'll we'll cut that at seven and a half by six and a half. That should fit. Okay, that'll do. Right, where's my other piece? Oh, here it is. I was so excited when I thought you left us with prov provisions to survive without you. Oh, thanks, Bob. <laughs> Hi, Dawn. Ah, uh, see you later. Oh, there's a bit too much at the top there, so let's cut that down to six and a half. use a bit of this as well. So this puff paint stuff, I've not used it before, but apparently you heat it up once you've used it and it puffs up. So we're going to attempt to use that today and I'm wondering whether or not to use it on these. So I have my heat tool at the ready and oh I could do a design so let's just see what it's oh whoa okay it's quite it's quite gloopy it's quite gloopy so let's I don't know how well we're going to be able to do this I think we might just have to do some random dots if this doesn't work out. Okay, I'm going very carefully. Okay, 
I've gone quiet because I'm concentrating so hard. <laughs> it looks like a quilted background. Well, that was kind of the look I was going for, Ruby. I just sort of coloured in some blocks and then decorated them. So the, the, the rule really is that if you decide to do a design on one colour, you've got to do it. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that there. Just quickly pop that in there. Uh, if you, yeah, so for example, you know, as you can see on the blue background, I've done blue dots. So you've got to do it on every single colour. So that's the trick to make it look like fabric. So, yes, apparently you heat this stuff up and it does something. Oh, no, that was a bit close, wasn't it? Okay, you'll have to just forgive my mistakes. Oh, oh, I've lost the rhythm somewhere. Okay. We'll get the heat tool out and see what happens now. I wonder if these are a little bit too close. I was biting my lip. <laughs> so, how hot do you think I need to... Ooh! Oh my word! Oh my goodness that is so weird oh my word i'm getting the heebie-jeebies watching this oh my days oh oh this is really triggering <laughs> got a growth <laughs> oh my goodness oh that was the freakiest thing oh that really triggered my what's it called when you don't like dots like oh 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 janice i'm not sure oh what's it called is it oh, there's that name for that thing Oh, I, I, I don't know if I can touch it. Oh, oh, that's not too bad. Feels solid. Oh. Yeah, it does look like Rice Krispies. Oh no, but oh, my skin's crawling. Oh, yeah, that trick, trick to trick. It, you know when you, it's where people who have phobias of seeing like holes in things like strawberries and no it's no it's it's a natural thing oh i think i triggered myself by googling it once and seeing the photograph so basically it like freaks people out because it reminds them of like when you get holes in your skin so it like it freaks you out but that was weird okay right i'm not doing dots again oh Best for snow drifts, methinks, yes. I think so. <sighs> okay, maybe we could just do a border. Ooh! Oh dear, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, we'll just do a there we go. Just a little whoop. Little whoop. Pull that along. Okay, do that. Oh, oh, doesn't that freak you out? Oh, maybe it's because I've got a bit of sunburn. Maybe that's why my skin feels like it's crawling, but that just triggered me. Thank you. Try trypophobia.
Oh, that is so weird. Is this stuff even made from it can't be good for you i'll just let that dry for a uh, cool down it must be some kind of plastic oh shake well before use oh i didn't do that did i i'm just gonna have a look at the ingredients Oh, these are all the warnings. May cause an allergic skin reaction. No kidding. Keep out of reach of children. Avoid breathing the mist or vapour stroke spray. Well, that's too late, isn't it? Wear protective gloves and eye protection. <coughs> Oops. Uh, for skin. Wash with plenty of water and soap. If skin irritation or rash occurs, get medical to advice stroke attention. Take off contaminated clothing and wash it well before use. Contains two ethyl acylate. Okay. All right, there we go. Use at your own risk, basically. Well, wow. there we go, guys. That's the puffy paint, puffy snowball stuff. Hmm, feels like builder's foam. Probably best not knowing what it's made of, Ruth. No, I didn't even know how it did this. I will have to give it a go. Sorry, I laughed outside. makes good beards <laughs> hi april <laughs> oh a jellyfish yeah what did wendy say i haven't slept all week because you weren't here to watch the sleep <laughs> oh sorry went oh i'm sorry but this is so triggering oh right okay let's just let's just make a card get some glue Get on with it. Insulation, spray insulation. Yes, that sort of thing. Yep. We call it builder's foam here in the UK. Oh dear. Got the glue. There we go. I did leave you some videos, Wendy. Did you not watch, watch them? Again and again and again. It looks like... Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. This is why I freaked out. Probably should have read those directions first. Oh, well. <laughs> I know, Jodie. It's the stamping up version of puffy pen paint, Heidi Zelensky. Well, there we go. We can all put the warts on Father Christmas now. Never mind his beard. She got <laughs> Monica says, I can't unsee it now. You've said it. No. No, indeed. I wonder if you can colour it. Oh, I know what. I'll, I'll, let me just do an experiment. Oh, the other thing I wanted to experiment with was whether or not I can pop one of these in the middle of it. Right. 
Shall we see what happens? Make warts on the witches, yep. They make good icing, like if you've got cupcakes or something. Well, I'm just going to let that cool down for a minute. Um, yeah, maybe some cupcake. Oh, oh, they're stuck in there. Wowzers. Yeah, they they are that that's stuck. Still quite warm. I was gonna see if I can colour it. Oh no, that's moved now. Oh, maybe it didn't like the alcohol. Maybe it reacted to the alcohol. Didn't like it. Yeah, that's come out now. That one stayed a bit longer though. That's interesting. So I think when I put the alcohol on it, it kind of like melted it. It was like, yeah. But that's still oh well bubble bath and bubbles yes oh yes didn't we used to have a stamp with a lady in a bath i think it's supposed to be put on sparingly yeah jody i don't judy i don't know if you were here earlier basically that was my first squeeze and it came out rather exuberantly so yeah it's it's quite, yeah, I mean, I suppose if you wanted to do a snow drift, you might want to do a bit more, but I guess it would be nice to be sort of, you know, snow on trees or something. That's, I think, the idea. I mean, it is called Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. So, the clue's in the title. Oh, and the hippo set has a tub die. Yes. Oh, that would be so cute. Actually, I have the dies. I'm just going to do this last experiment and then I'm going to leave you. Yeah, so there we go. That's kind of like more of a snow drift effect there. The first squeeze was a big blob. I used the snow on a card but didn't heat it. You didn't heat it? Oh, how did it dry then, Wendy? Does it just dry eventually? Make sure it's well shaken. Yeah, that first one is definitely not shaken, these these ones. These ones weren't shaken either. But they turned out freaky enough. So I'm just using up this bit of glue in here before I throw this away. There we go. I've I've successfully made two card toppers this evening. So they can be stuck onto something. <coughs> Excuse me. So there you have it. Thank you for joining me tonight, guys. I use the Hippest Hippos stamp set. And then I also used a colour in the Hippest Hippo stamp set. I used, let's swap this around, uh, the Light Smoky Slate and Dark Smoky Slate with a little hint of Light Flirty Flamingo for the cheeks. And then I masked off the hippo 
and just did stripes across and stripes down using Tahitian ties, light and dark, and then also a little bit of light daffodil delight. So that is the colour scheme there for these one for this one. And this one I coloured in the hippo with Tahitian Tide, did a bit of highlighting with the Daffodil Delight, then brought on Melon Mambo, Light and Dark, and also Orchid Oasis, Light and Dark. So weren't, that is such a fun colour scheme. Really, really fun and happy. And there we go. Oh, I love yellow, grey and pink. Very nice. There we go. So thank you so much for joining me, guys. Thanks, Ruth. I love learning something new. Me too, Mona. And I love doing it with you guys to keep me company. <sighs> Did it absorb the colour where it's over the purple lines? Um, you mean the... Do you mean... Uh, what are you referring to? Hi, Susan. Oh, how's your... Is it your ankle? I think that was fixing. Did it set even though you didn't heat it, Wendy? Yes. It did dry hard eventually. What, like three days later, eventually? <laughs> Hi, Louise. <sighs> Bubbles for the beer. Yes, that's a good idea, Joanna. Beards and clouds, yeah. Right, what was the question about the, the line? Interesting live tonight. Thanks, Jackie. <laughs> yeah, so did it take on the colour? No, the puffball paint didn't take on the colour. But were you referring to where the lines crossed over here? Oh, good, Susan. Back to your ball dancing. Ballroom dancing. Not ball dancing. Ballroom dancing. I won't nag you up for friends, but thumbs up for our Ruth, please. <laughs> Thank you, Glenn. <laughs> oh, dear. I'll just say a quick goodbye. So thank you guys. Great to see you all. Thank you for bearing with me while I did that little bit of an experiment and hope you get to have a bit of a try out on the first one that I did. No, it didn't take on the colour, uh, Annie. No, it's... No, no, it's there. Maybe I didn't heat that one well enough. It's sort of coming off, off the card a bit. Oh, it's... It's... I don't know if I've done this wrong. If anyone else has done this, you can let me know. But it's it's quite... Um... Oh, yeah, look, it's still... It's like it's still wet underneath. Maybe I need to... Okay, I know what. I, I did give this a bit of a push just now. So I'll leave this for a, a night and I'll have a fiddle with it in the morning and see if it dries a bit stronger um i guess it's not really meant to be played with straight after so there we go aren't they cute cute hippos there we go dancing won't be for a while a few months at this point but it will be pain free oh good good season right lovely to see you all and i'm not sure if i'll be back tomorrow i will try to be um i've still got my uh other we've got our other sister staying with me at the moment helen so we're kind of doing lots of sort of family stuff at the moment uh, but they'll be leaving on wednesday so we'll see i might be able to get helen on to do something i'll, I'll ask her but there we go right don't forget to wash your hands thank you mona good idea Yeah. 
on the first scrap. What did Bob say? What did Bob ask? Oh, did, does it mix? No, do, I think it's just because I applied it very lightly so you can sort of see it through. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about the alcohol. Maybe this did come apart too because I kind of gave it a bit of a shove. This one seems to be... Um, yeah, I mean, you can pick it away, you know, if you're a bit of a picker. Oh, if you're a bit of a picker, you're going to love this stuff because you can just sit and pick at it for ages. But I don't think it's meant to do that. I think it's meant to obviously stay on the card and be given. So there we go. I was asking if the live was just beginning and realised you're at the end. Oh, no, no worries, Sharon. Yeah, do go back and watch the process. Okay. You'd love to see Helen. Oh, oh well, I'll ask her. Thanks, Glenna. Right. Take care, guys. And um, please do remember to subscribe if you've just come to my channel for the first time and you like what, what you see. And do follow me also 